Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. In this episode of Mattressology, we are gonna talk about hybrid mattresses. So let's go. So it seems like there are hybrids everywhere these days. You got hybrid golf clubs, you got, of course you got hybrid cars, there's hybrid animals I've just found out, you got hybrid dogs. You know, I have a Puggle, which is a hybrid of a Beagle and a Pug mix. So yes, and there's even hybrid mattresses. So hybrid mattresses, they are getting really popular. We get customers all the time asking about hybrid mattresses, even just about 15, 20 minutes ago, we had a customer asking about a hybrid mattress. And what we found is a lot of times they don't know what really what a hybrid mattress is. So we thought we put this video together to kind of explain the differences between certain types of hybrids and some of the advantages of hybrids. So basically there are two, generally speaking, there are two types of hybrids. There are memory foam hybrids and there are latex hybrids. That's what you're gonna find mostly. Now there are some other types of hybrids out there, but those are the two main types. And a hybrid is basically what you would think a hybrid is. It's, you know, you got a, uh, the best of both worlds when it comes to you got foam and then you got springs. That's really what a hybrid generally is. Now, a typical memory foam mattress is gonna be all foam. We got the foam base layer, you got the foam comfort layers, and then you got the stretch knit cover on the top. So a hybrid would be if you would just take the foam off the foam base layer and then you have it with the coil system and usually it's a pocketed coil system. Now you might be saying like, that's just a regular mattress. Well, it can be a regular mattress if we would have quilt it, but, but a hybrid, what separates a hybrid mattress from a, just a traditional spring, inner spring mattress is usually hybrids are not quilted on the top. A typical mattress is gonna have a quilted top on the cover. You know, like you're probably what you're more used to seeing. So, and, so hybrid mattresses, you have the stretch knit cover with no quilting because you're directly on top. You want to be directly on top of that foam. And then you have the springs as a support layer. So you got the feel of like a memory foam or a latex type mattress, but at the same time, you got the, the support layer of a springs. So now you also have with latex mattresses, you have 100% latex mattresses. This is what a hybrid is not. Now, if you've got a latex hybrid, you'll have latex with the springs. So there are some, uh, there are a lot of advantages going with a hybrid. Now, if you're going, people who tend to, to go with hybrids or tend to benefit hybrids is if they like the memory foam feel or a latex type feel, especially latex. We do, we sell mostly latex hybrids. That's, that's what we do mostly. So, it, we get, we get, we sell latex hybrids for customers who tend to want all the advantages of latex. They want the durability of latex and they want the natural aspect, like the chemical free um, properties of latex, but they also do like the bounce of latex. They also like some of that springiness of latex. So, so the advantage of the hybrids, if, if you like a mattress that has a little bit more life to it, we call it in buoyancy or the life of a mattress, I would say you might want to check out a, a hybrid mattress. You know, if you want something a little bit more dense that does not move a lot, then I would say you might want to go with a more of a tradition, not a traditional, but more of a foam mattress or all latex mattress. So another advantage of going with a hybrid mattress is hybrid mattresses tend to sleep a little bit cooler. They breathe a little bit better than an all foam mattress or even an all latex mattress. Um, so like, for example, this typical memory foam type design, it's not gonna breathe very well. Even with the cool gel stuff out there, even if the foam is blue, it's not gonna breathe well, it's not gonna sleep that much cooler because there's just not a lot of airflow because foam insulates. But if you go with a hybrid mattress, you got the coils are opened up, there's definitely a lot more breathability. I think the statistic I, I read, it's over 30% sleeps, sleeps about 30, over 30% 30 cooler than an all foam bed. Um, don't quote me on that, but um, I probably put in the note, the, the show notes. But um, but yeah, it is going to breathe a lot better because you got more open space. You are going to get better airflow. So if you tend to sleep hot, then I would tend to go with a hybrid mattress over an all latex bed or a 
memory foam mattress. So now another big benefit of, of a hybrid mattress, especially for size sleepers, is the pressure relief. Now with an all foam bed, whether it's memory foam or latex, what happens is like you put your weight on the comfort layers and then you sink through. I don't know if you can see that, but you sink through. But then with this base layer, you tend to stop more. It doesn't sink in as much. It doesn't conform as well to your body. And it, you're, if you're heavier, you're gonna feel that base a little bit more so than a spring mattress. With a hybrid, with the springs as a support layer, even if you're heavier, you're gonna sink in, but also the springs are gonna absorb your weight a little bit better than one with foam. Even with a full latex bed, you know, you're gonna sink in and kind of just stop more. So pressure relief, what we found for people that are very sensitive on their shoulders and on their hips, I would go with a hybrid, I would lean towards a latex hybrid or even a memory foam hybrid mattress over a full foam bed. Now over a traditional bed, you know, with the spring and the, the, the foam and the quilted part, they're both gonna be good with pressure relief, but hybrids do give, give you more of that traditional or that memory foam and latex feel with the added benefit of that pressure relief. So with the, so that's one of the other advantages is the pressure relief. So going to the disadvantages of hybrid, I would say like the advantages is the more bounce if you like more life in the bed, but a disadvantage is also more bounce, you know, more movement. So if you like a bed, like I was saying earlier, that's gonna be more stable and less bouncy, go with one that's more gonna be more foam, either all latex or all foam. It's gonna be more stable. If you're, you know, for couples, if you're very sensitive with motion, and especially if you sleep like on a queen size or, or something smaller, motion separation, memory foam, and latex all foam is gonna be a bit, a bit better for motion separation than a hybrid. There's a little bit more movement. Pocketed coils, they're good. On a scale of one to 10, generally speaking, I'll probably give them an eight out of 10, with 10 being the best. Like an all memory foam bed, I will give it like a 10 out of 10. So if, if motion separation and being sensitive to any movement is like top on your priority list, then I would go with an all foam bed. So, and then another um, disadvantage is been, Debating on this one is as far as like an adjustable bases, foam mattresses tend to flex a little bit better. Now this is this is a, a general rule. This is you know some beds are going to be different depending on the mattress, but adjustable beds, foam memory foam latex tends to flex a little bit better than a hybrid. Now, if the hybrid has foam encasement around it, yes, I would say a foam bed would be better. But on some of our hybrids, like we don't have any foam encasement, it's edge edge coil. They do flex really well on an adjustable base, but I had to think of one another disadvantage of a of a hybrid mattress, and that is probably a slight disadvantage is they don't move as well on a, an adjustable base as an all latex bed. But they're still good. That wouldn't I wouldn't um, try to dissuade you on going to hybrid because of that reason, you know? They're still gonna work good on an adjustable base. So, I hope that helps you guys. If you guys are looking for a hybrid or a regular mattress, you know, if you guys can't, I definitely recommend trying them out, going into a store and trying them out because that's really gonna be your best, your best gauge on if it's the right one for you. Like me, I like a hybrid. I like something with a little bit more bounce to it, a little bit more life to it. My business partners, both of my brothers, they sleep on an all latex bed. You know, they, they, like, they like something more stable. So there's not a right or wrong, you know, and I do tend to get a little bit hotter when I sleep. So I do like something that's gonna breathe better. That's why, I do, that's another reason why I do a hybrid, but they're both gonna be good. Um, just depends on your body type and what your preferences are. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If this helped you, give us a like. And if you guys, or on your mattress shopping journey, you still want some little bit more help, we put together a shopping guide that gives you the tips on mattress shopping and break down mistakes not to make with mattress shopping. So, so again, you guys, thanks for watching and sleep well. In this episode of Mattressology, we are gonna talk about hybrid mattresses. <laughs> I keep up the, did you see that? All right. Why don't we have eyebrows? That's the thing.
<laughs> yeah. Okay. So, okay. 